Okay folks, today we're going to talk about the fill piece meter. We're going to talk about the HS36. This is the most commonly used meter by service techs anywhere in the world. Great piece of equipment, very budget oriented. I want to talk to you today about the common and positive terminals. When you pull it out of your bag, you're just going to take the black lead and put it in common. I'm going to take the red lead and put it in the positive, okay? Real quickly, we're going to go through the functions of the meter itself. This is the backlight. Okay. The NCV stands for non contact voltage. And this here is the maximum and minimum button. So when you're checking the voltage of, let's say, a motor and you've got 240 volts, 120 volts, and you're reaching out, you just clamp that, hit that button, and it'll hold the voltage so you can see it. So now we're going to talk about this is off. This here is the audible sound. This is when you have continuity. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put the, the leads together. I want you to look at this. Now I want you to look at this. It's a, hear that sound? That means we have continuity. That's all that means. The next function is volts DC. Automatically just put that on auto and this is the only time you'll use this is when you're using variable speed motors and air handlers that goes from AC to DC voltage that is pretty much common anymore because you get more torque out of a DC motor microfarads MFD you check your capacitors with that anywhere from 5 to 80 microfarads it goes up to 400 temperature probe you have 400 degrees to a thousand degrees okay so I'm going to put it on 400 for now. You take your temperature probe, you're going to plug it in right here. This is what you normally clamp on your suction line when you're doing superheat, sub cool. Right now we have 83.7 degrees. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a lighter on this here. You're going to see how quick this thing will light up. This thing is very sensitive, very accurate. Works fantastic. Okay, so you get the point there. This here is microfarads amps DC. This is what you'll use on your gas and oil uh, furnaces up north. This is ohms. That stands for resistance. This is hertz. In America, we have 60 hertz, our frequency. This is frequency. And here's your amp probe. And we're going to demonstrate the amp probe. But one thing I want to demonstrate as I go to the electrical panel box up here, I want to show non-contact voltage. What that means, you can check electrical circuit without ever touching see if it's got voltage. See the red light? That tells me I have voltage on this receptacle. Switch. Voltage. So you got voltage here. I'm going to take the amp probe here and I'm going to plug it right into the top just like it's designed to do. I've got it on volts AC, which is check amp draw. See how the meter's up? You're going to clamp this open and around your wire. So let me show you how this works. Okay, you'll just take your amp probe and you'll put it around the wire. And on the C phase of this electrical panel box, we're pulling 12.1 amps. This is the B phase, pulling hardly anything on the B phase. And here's the A phase. Five point six amps. Let me just show you something here. I want to go back to this B phase second. Make sure this thing's always securely fastened. Okay? It has to be totally shut down in order for it to work correctly. So that's it folks. That's the demonstration of the field piece H36 today. I highly recommend this to all technicians. Please use this meter as it is your best friend. And the non-contact voltage part of this 
switch is probably the most important part of this whole meter. Okay? That way you don't get yourself hurt. That way you can love ones and your family will always have you. If you have any questions, call Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical 239-596-5855 or jonesairconditioning.com. Thank you.